Uh, what, what one advice or two advice? One advice I'm going to say that? is yeah. never doubt yourself. Once you're a librarian, you're a baddie, period. The girls get to sit in the house, the audience vote to see who's the baddest LIB baddie mm -hmm. for a cash price of $5,000. 25% of the proceeds go to a family in Liberia to help them. <laughs> no, no, no matter what situation you're in, rain doesn't fall forever. It's always going to be a sunshine. Just have hope. Just be prayerful that it's, it's always going to be a better day. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Tommy, and thanks for clicking. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to become part of this growing audience. Please also like and share my videos. Thank you. Welcome to another exciting episode. I visited Philadelphia recently on the 21st of May to be precise, and I came across another kind of business that is being done by Liberians, young Liberians. And so it's called the LIB Bodies. Let's listen to them. Let's see or hear what they have to offer us. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Tommy. What is your name, bro? Dennis. Dennis. My name is Love TV. Love TV. Hey, Dennis, I met you at the Waterstar Market. You told me about a group that yeah. you work with. It's a different kind of business that you are involved in. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit more about uh, it today. Yeah, me and my partner, right, we got a, uh, I, we got a reality show. It's called Liberian Baddies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the show is called LRB Baddies. Mm -hmm. It's a reality TV show. Mm -hmm. And basically, we select 10 girls uh -huh. and we put them in a house where we are responsible for everything. Okay. And the girls get to stay in the house. The audience vote to see who's the baddest LRB baddie mm -hmm. for a cash price of $5,000. And we film everything they do mm -hmm. for, for, for a week. That sounds exciting. Thank How you. is that going? That's going pretty well. We just got done with season one. Okay. We just did the reunion. This was the this weekend was the reunion weekend. That's why we are playing kickball team with the, with the team out here. It was amazing. The people came out and showed some love. So that what brings to, uh, brings my next question. What is happening today? Today we are playing kickball game mm -hmm. with this with the team here mm -hmm. with the Philadelphia team. Okay. We are playing with them mm -hmm. to to test our kickball skill. To tell, okay, is it is it get towards racing fun or is it's just for fun? It's just for fun. It's just for fun, but LRB Baddie season two, mm -hmm. the girls will have a game, a game night, and they'll also have a car wash. You can come and bring your car. Twenty-five percent of the proceeds go to a family in Liberia to help it them. It goes to a family in Liberia. Yes. Oh, okay. How do you identify this family in Liberia? It can be family that need help with okay. anything, okay. need help with their kids, or kids that need help with school and okay. stuff like that. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, running that kind of business, what has been some of the challenges that you face? Um, so not not very much. Of course, every business comes with challenges, but mm -hmm. I'm glad to have my team, my partner. Okay. Is another partner of mine called Peter. Mm -hmm. He with us. I'm glad to have my partner to be along with me okay, to go great. through whatever. So when it comes to the struggle, it's not that hard because I have people that I share it with. The kickball game you play today. Who are you playing against? The Philadelphia All Stars. The Philadelphia All Stars. Okay, the Philadelphia All Star Kickball team yeah, going Philadelphia. against the, ba the, the LRB baddies. 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 Okay, yeah. I have to get used to that. Yeah. No. Okay, so when when was the thing? Tell me about a little bit. Of what what led to you establishing this business? Uh, what led to us establishing this was yeah. this is something that was an ongoing thing yeah. that we thought about bringing on. Yeah, he can take over. You welcome. <laughs> so yeah, your partner has to go back on yeah, the field. Yeah, yeah. To play, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had to go back. You know, she trying to get a little kickball on. Yeah, so I mean, I'm happy to meet you again. I'm happy yeah, to be yeah, in Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. They, they let this. Well, say they're better than love. Sometimes, yeah. So, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how's the, the like grand population here? It's crazy. I think besides Minnesota, or well, probably. Tied with Minnesota, mm -hmm. we have like the biggest population. Oh, of biggest population. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coach, yeah, I'll come. I'll come and interview you right now. <laughs> so and the coach making our team and lose. Oh, he's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but you know, I'm excited about this business. It's a different kind of business that you yeah. never hear about. Mm -hmm. I think this brings about excitement. Yeah. How do you hope that this will educate young people? Right now, we're just trying to tell people that like whatever you dream about. Whatever idea you got, you can put it out there. It don't have to be entertainment, it don't have to be anything. It can be right. anything you choose. Just focus on it and okay. you can accomplish it. 
Okay. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for talking with me today again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Anything that goes on, let me know. I got you. Know, you I, I can you. always drive to uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I like yeah. being here. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Nice talking to you again. Hello, my name is Tommy. What is your name? Hi, my name is Latinet. They call me Lati. Latinet. LRB bodies are playing against another team today. Uh, Dennis told me about this. What do you think about this final that's going on today? <laughs> First of all, we're playing a team that plays for fun. Like, they play on a regular basis. Okay. LIV baddies don't play kickball. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're getting whooped. Who are you rooting for? Of course, I'm rooting for my baddies. I'm a baddie. Body. Oh, you're a baddie. Okay. Yeah, so. Who's doing well right now? Of Who's leading? Of course, the other team. I don't know. I think the they're other called Lone Star. You think they're cheating? No, they're trying to play there. We are kickball and they play. We don't play kickball. So, okay. I mean, what y'all expect? <laughs> So what do you think about the LRB bodies? Why LRB bodies and why are you part of it? Um, Tell my audience. LRB bodies is, is a wave. It's, it's, it's doing what it do. Yeah. Um, I'm a part of it because I like a good time. I'm about my business. It was basically to get myself put on and out there. Mm so that's what made me. Okay, I just want to be clear. You're a Liberian? Are you, are you yeah, a Liberian? Liberian? Okay, do you miss Liberian? I was born here. You were born here. Oh, have you been there? Yeah, like three times. Oh, <laughs> but three times. That's good. Home is always home, right? Right. Yeah, so you look forward to visiting them someday again? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. What would you say to young girls who want to make it in life, but yet they are still struggling and they just lose hope? What would you say to Don't them? Don't ever lose hope. Keep on always striving. Stay prayful. Stay true to what you do. Yeah. And just keep pushing. Don't All right. Up. Okay, thank you so much for participating today. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, my name is Tommy. What is your name? My name is Joanna. Joanna, what are you doing in the field here today? I'm on the field. It's LIB Baddies outside, and they're playing a kickball game right now against oh. the Philly girls. The Philly no. girls. Yeah, so oh. I'm outside, you know, watching them play. Great. Are you a, are you a LIB body? I mean, I wouldn't say a LIB baddie, but I'm going to say I'm Liberian. Um, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm a baddie, yeah, but baddie. I ain't LIB okay. baddie, but I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not in there, you know, their show and stuff, but, you know, right. I'm still a baddie and I'm Liberian, yeah. so that makes yeah, me a that Liberian that baddie. A Liberian baddie as and well. Do, yeah. So what do you think about the show? Um, the show, it's not bad. It's okay. I feel like they could improve, you know, a lot more. But they'll probably do that in season two. Okay. Which is yeah, not bad. season two is coming yeah, up, right? Yep, and I'm looking forward to seeing that and the improvements and stuff. But other than that, the show, I'm I'm fucking with it. I feel like it could be, you know, less drama and more, you know, activities, more working, you know, right. showing their brands, more mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah. Okay. okay. So they said that they're gonna do it. part of part of the activity is to raise mm -hmm. some funds and send it to Liberia. Mm -hmm. What would you say about that? That's a good that's, I'm saying that's a very good idea. At least, you know, using the money to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You can use the money to support your own people. You know, yes, it's you a lot of people yes. like us that need it, right. even though we got it, but you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So it's a good thing to support, of course, as they should support us, yeah. of course. Yeah, great. So what is that one thing that you tell to other Liberian girls who are struggling in our country mm -hmm. and doubt themselves? They don't know how the way out. What, what one advice or two advice? One advice I'm going to say is yeah. never doubt yourself. Once you're a Liberian, you're a baddie, period. That's us. That's who we are. Okay. We're a Liberian. We're unique. We're foreign. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we're really unique. Like, we I are. feel like everything a Liberian, Liberians are dope. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Like, our food are dope. Our culture is dope. Our dancing is dope. Like, everything about us is fire. So, as a Liberian girl, always have your confidence. Like, right. never, you know, go, oh, I'm not Liberian, no. I'm a proud Liberian. Always be a proud Liberian and, you know, go with your culture, as you should, period. Thank you very much for participating today. No problem. All right. Are you part of the LRB bodies? No, I'm not. Do you have friends and family that are participating? No. What do you think about the LRB body? Um, I actually like it, despite the fact that there's dramas and stuff. I mean, that's the whole point, the concept of the of the show to have drama. But the show is mostly <coughs> the show is mostly about promoting yourself, putting yourself out there, being known for whatever. Especially if you have like a business, it's the best way to like promote your business and advertise your business for people to see. So it's a huge platform that will get you out there and get you noticed. Yes. That's what you're looking for. Okay. So tell me one good important thing for nationally about the LRB body. What do you uh, like about it the most? 
What do I like I about the NIV baddies? Yeah, the, the most. most. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the fact that it get it get they gave girls the opportunity to promote their business and promote their self and what they do. Okay. Somebody told me that some of the proceeds they get, they're going to use it to send to support some fam suffering family back home. Do you like that aspect of it? Oh, definitely. Um, they also do fundraising. I believe you guys do. do yeah, they do fundraising where yeah. when they collect the money, they will take it back home oh, to um, cool, yeah, to the kids Tell back home. Book. Help them with their school fees. Help them yeah, with so their books. Cool. Help them with supplies and all the necessary yeah, equipment that they need for school. Okay, are you a librarian? I am a librarian. Okay, do you miss home? I do. I miss about <laughs> shop. I do, don't mess with my action. I haven't been back. What are they, America? You, like you haven't been there for some time? No, I came here at the age of five and I haven't been back. You haven't been back. Unfortunately. I'm a little too yeah. <laughs> Do you think you miss home sometimes? I do. My mom is back home, so I actually do miss home. You do miss home, yeah. okay. I guess we would tweet. Okay. We got the same thing out here. Like the same dress. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for participating today. Is there any word you want to say to Liberian girls who are suffering back there but doubt themselves? They don't know Stop where the way out. What, what advice would you give them? I would say have hope. There's, is this saying that Abraham Lincoln said, this too shall pass? And the saying, this too shall pass, is basically saying that no matter... That's your dream what I'm saying. No, Abraham Lincoln, this too shall pass, is basically saying no matter what you're going through, no matter what the circumstances is, no, no matter what the obstacle is, it will always pass. It's always... Right no, boom. <laughs> no, no, boom. No matter what situation you're in, rain doesn't fall forever. It's always going to be a sunshine. Just have hope. Just be prayerful that it's, it's always going to be a better day. It's always, it's just always going to be a better day. So, this too shall pass. That's this too shall thing. pass. This too shall Thank you very much. What is your name again? My name is Cole. Cole. Okay. I'm a minor girl. A minor girl. I'm African. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want more of this content? Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification button. And hope to see you in my next video.